What's up, Slug Nation? We're back with another Devs Play Slug It Out 2. Today, we're gonna to be doing part one of a two-part dev challenge. This time, we have the entire Slug It Out 2 dev team competing to see if we can take down the reigning champ, Danielle. So, I'm Mike. I'm the social content creator and QA tester for Slug It Out 2. So, the dev challenge, if you've seen the last video we did, we did a dev challenge where it was myself versus Danielle. We're doing that again, but in a lot larger scale. Uh, we're gonna have myself, Dennis, Juan, and Stu. We're all gonna compete against each other to see who is gonna fight Danielle and take home the Elemental Cup. So, let's get started. So, I'm gonna go first. I already have my loadout picked out. So I'm going with Boondock because I think Boondock will help me with being able to heal my, my slugs up. I'm going with Tenasher and Mako Breaker because I gotta get those chomps in there. They're gonna give me high damage. And I'm also going with Zed because again, some high damage. So three high damage slugs and a healing slug. So let's uh, jump into the first battle. All right, so here we are again, fighting High Plains Monster on Shadow Mountain. I need to redeem myself because last time I lost to Danielle. So maybe I can make it up the ranks here and fight her again and redeem myself. So again, we're gonna use the timer method. So I have, you can see on the top left here. So we're gonna start the timer right now. All right, so we're gonna get some slug energy going. Which slug should we shoot off first? Probably Zed. Try to get a big hit in there to begin. Let's see. Get them to clash level three. Keep matching. All right, Zed's almost ready to go. Mako Breaker's ready to go. Boondock's ready for the health. I think we're gonna be good here. Shoot off that goondock, get some health here to start out with. That brought us all the way back. That's good. All right, here we go. Oh no, okay, there we go. Oh no, deflected. My worst nightmare. Setting the time here, so the first time, so I gotta get fast. Start shooting them all off. Good hit. Yes. All right, so one minute, 13 seconds. Nice. All right, so that's my time, but let's see who the next challenger's time is. All right, so here we are with the second challenger. Here we have Dennis. Hi, I'm back and I'm better than ever. Better than ever. So here's his loadout. Why did you pick these guys, Dennis? Well, High Plains Monster is a pretty tough boss. He likes reflecting Agreed. stuff. He or she, I'm not totally sure. You can um, never tell with monsters. Exactly. So I don't want to make any assumptions, but High Plains Monster is tough. I can make that assumption. Yes. Likes to reflect attacks. So I'm going to avoid ghouls so I don't get ghouls reflected back on me because I'm already a lot of times taking damage or getting some negative effect from using a ghoul. So I've gone with a trusted old. Uh, Infernus, I've got a Speed Stinger, I've got a Ramstone, they're all good attack slugs, and I've got a Boondock, because I think I'm going to need a lot of healing help ah, on this. You're going for a similar tactic as I did. Smart. Well, I think we should get into this battle. Yeah, I can see that your time was 1 hour 13 minutes, so I think I can beat you. 1 hour? 1 minute? Oh, 1 minute 13. I get it now. Well, that's going to be a lot harder, but I still think I can beat you. If it was one hour, it would be the longest battle in the Slug It Out history. Probably would be. Anyways, let's get into the battle. Okay, here goes Dennis. Gonna try to beat my 1 minute 13 second. Are you sure it's not 1 hour 13 minutes? Yeah. It says 1 colon 13 there. You ready? Go in! Alright. I can do this, I can do this. You can do it. 13 minutes, I also gotta keep an eye on you so you time me properly. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll let the, I'll let the timer oh. run out. 
All right, I hate those attacks. They're so hard. They are. I'm stuck doing nothing. I gotta rely on the speed stinger to just blast through. What are you doing here? Come on. Oh, you can do it. Oh, you're getting uh -oh. some stuns. How bad would it be if I was defeated by this monster? Just fire everything. It's the best tactic for this guy. I'm trying to save up as much as possible. I was doing that, but I felt like when I did it, it was wasting time. Great. Thanks for the tip, Mike. Oh, oh jeez. I'm losing all these slots. I gotta hurry. We're at one minute. Are you serious? Yep. Already at that one. Are you minute. sure it wasn't an hour? I'm pretty sure it wasn't an hour. I saw you in here for a long time this morning. I was setting up. Setting up these awesome videos we're making. It takes time. Here we go. Well, I got a ton of health. I'll, I'll, oh, oh. Oh, and Furnace got sent I was going to say I had a ton of health, but apparently not. Well, we're at 1.30. That's okay, I'll be Stu or whoever's next. You, yeah, you, you only need to be in the top two, so it's still possible. I'm just going to stand at the window and distract Stu. Come on, no, come on! Stu also had the benefit of programming all the AI, so... Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, Come on, get through. There's a lot get of that through. going around. Oh, go. oh my... Oh no. Come on. I can do this. I had this problem in the last dev challenge. Oh! Always getting sent back. Speed Singer, finish the job. Yes! What was the time? 217. Not bad, not bad. That's the time to beat. Well, I guess my time's the time to beat, but you gotta be in within my time and your time if you wanna be going to the semifinals. All right, I'm looking at the list here. Stu's probably going to beat me. I need to make sure Juan doesn't beat me. All right, well, let's get, get the next guy in here and see if he can beat your score or beat my score. All right, so here we are with Stu, the next challenger. Hey, I'm back here again. It's been a while, been busy, but decided it's time to actually show up and what better way than in this little tournament we have here. Now, it's been a long time since I actually got to play a lot of Slug It Out, so I think I went for a safe build here with having both versions of Boondock, the ghoul and non-ghoul, just to heal me up. And just to make up for the fact that I'm probably a little slower now, got Fandango to charge, and I'm just gonna try and fire Dark Furnace as fast as I can. Start Smart. This. We'll see if it's good. Dark Furnace does a lot of damage, hurts you, but I have a bunch of healers, so unless I have some bad timing, I think this might be okay. It looks like a good loadout. Are you ready to go? No, but let's go. Back on Shadow Mountain, here's Stu fighting the High Plains boss. He needs to beat either my time of a minute 13 or Dennis's of 2.17 or fall in between there. Uh, okay. Do you yeah. think you can do it? I think I can at least beat Dennis's. We'll see. We'll see. All right. High Plains is a weird beast. Let me know when you're ready to go and I'll start the timer. All right. Let's go. And we're off. See Stu skills in action. He's a little rusty, he says, but I think he can do it. But do I want him to do it is the other question. I need to fight Danielle and win back all of my fans. <laughs> all of the fans. He's making some good matches here. I just need some openings. <laughs> Gotta be careful of that high flames boss. He reflects back and he stuns. Oh, very, very close. 71 health on that. Bam! Guy. Got it. Nice. <laughs> 44 seconds. My. The champ goodness. is here. <laughs> the champ is back. Very impressive. Good job, Stu. All right. So I guess I'll see you guys maybe in the semifinals. <laughs>
All right, here we are with the last challenger, Juan. How's it going? Hey, hey, right? Are you ready to do this? Let's try it. That was like a little bit training. So let's see what happened. Take us through why you picked this loadout. I see you have Infernus, you have Boondock, you got Zed, Piper. Why'd you pick them? Yeah, um, I was like looking around and it seems to me like this is a pretty hard challenge and I probably the monster will hit me a lot. So yeah. I picked Boondock just to heal me and some other slacks just to try to make some damage on, on him. All right. So, and uh, I don't know, it it felt to me right like to pick like Infernus and Viper and the Rava Slack, like it's so cool. So let's try and see what happened. Awesome, let's start this battle. All right, here we are at Shadow Mountain fighting the High Plains boss. It's Juan's turn to try and beat Stu's score of 44 seconds or my score of a minute 13 seconds. Let me know when you're ready. Look at that guy. So, let's do this. All right, here we go. Hey, okay, come on, man. You got this, man. Try that. Watch out. Watch out for his reflections and stun attacks. You're getting close to Stu's time. You should keep matching those tiles up. You can do this. You're getting close to my time. Oh, this is gonna be a close one. Whoa. A minute 15, so close. Only two seconds off my time. Oh man, you beat me. I did beat you, but that's a really good score. Nice job, man. Good Thank job. you, I try it. Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe next time. I will be ready. All right, that just about does it for this video. But before we go, I have the final scores. We have Stu on top with 44 seconds. I'm second with a minute 13 seconds. Juan is third place with a minute 15, so he's very close to my score. Uh, Dennis is fourth with two minutes and 17 seconds. And make sure you guys tune in next week where we'll have Stu and I competing to see who will go on to face our reigning champion, Danielle. And we also have a fun surprise at the end that I don't want to talk too much about yet, but you guys will love it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Like that video? If so, the game is available on Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Make sure to like us on Facebook. And like this video if you like this type of Slugterra video. And subscribe to get more frequent updates to when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching, guys. See, See you next time in Slugterra. Slug